Hey gang, welcome to part two of my three part small scale art series and if you've been following me for a while or saw last week's video then you'll know that I started my art route as a card maker and paper crafter and so making cards is kind of my full circle back and I do love designing on these small scales from time to time. So this piece is also going to end up as a card but I've gone slightly less abstract with this one and I'm using a floral focal point as you'll see as we go through. But I've kept that abstract art title because well I actually am not that good at coming up with titles for starters. But also more importantly this project is part of a series of pieces of three pieces and I think that when you when you see the last one, the third one in this se series, then you'll really sort of see what makes it a series and that will be coming out next week. So this middle one, you might start seeing some themes coming through if you saw last week's, so keep your eye out for them. And you know, I'm going on about it because I kind of decided that this year, 2019, is going to be a bit more about series art for me. So I'm going to do sort of more bodies of work that have some sort of common theme that bring them together in some way. So it's kind of close and, you know, forefront in my mind at the moment as I've been thinking about this. But more about this in a minute and let me just tell you about the piece. So still using acrylics and don't forget that all the supplies that I've used today will be listed in the description below the video. And for this one I've gone back to a flat brush. So last week I was using a large round brush and this week I'm using, I've gone back to my sort of comfort zone which is a flat brush. I really like using flat brushes. And this, this is just to get the background colour down. And if you're wondering about the texture that you can see in some of these strokes, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm loading up my brush. It's a very wet brush and I've loaded it up with a, a touch of fluid colour. So where I've watered down that colour a little bit. But I've also put on the same brush a thick piece of paint. Because I'm working in acrylics, you can kind of have both the fluid and the thick together quite nicely. So that's what I've done and then when I've put that on the page you get that kind of different texture of the thick and the thin together which is really fun to play with, to have a go with that. And once the background is dry I'm going to doodle away with paint pens and well doodling it that kind of brings me back to the whole series thing and why I'm talking about it and why I think that this year is going to be a bit more about that for me anyway. What I really mean, I mean, it's, it's kind of more about focus, but focusing on something for a set amount of time to produce a body of work. Because I've been kind of finding myself naturally focusing on a few aspects, and now that I've kind of spotted this, and I've realised that that's what I'm doing, I thought I would har harness it a little bit more and sort of do it more consciously and explore it in more depth. So for instance, I've been keeping a regular doodle sketchbook with daily doodles and patterns, and I did share this with you guys in Inktober, so that was what I was using for my Inktober uh, over on Instagram and I did a sketchbook tour as well of it and I'll link those up for you so you can see those videos if you miss them. And I've also been playing with watercolour effects with various different mediums not just with watercolour paints and I really love doing that and I know a lot of you have probably seen that on various places so here on YouTube and also on Instagram. But I have to admit, I've kind of fought against that whole focusing down for such a long time now and I've I felt like I didn't want to be known for a particular thing because, well, I just like too many things. <laughs> and, you know, I think quite a lot of us do. We just, I mean, there's so many different looks I like, there's so many different styles that I like and I want to try it all. <laughs> And also, as I said last time, I've worked for manufacturers and retailers and magazines for coming up to around 10 years now, and I think that I've managed to work with them for so long because uh, I could turn my hand to so many different styles and techniques and be flexible with my work. So it's really kind of helped to be able to do lots of different things. And you know, if, if you can deliver to a brief and on time, but you know, do cute and whimsical one week and then the next week just, you know, full up grunge, then that's, that's a bonus and it can work in your favour. 
So yeah, I've been pushing back against being too niche and just sort of being known for one particular thing. I mean, this is kind of different to style. I mean, it it overlaps with style, but I'm not specifically talking about style today. And I think it's one of those issues that many creatives will have come across during their work or you know way their career has grown and things like that i mean for some it might not be such a big issue because they might naturally find themselves focusing on one medium or one subject and you know they'll be known for that and that's fine but then for a lot of us we also we've worked our way up through the sort of jane of all trades route <laughs> and and then sort of like the focusing down can can become a bit of a challenge but I don't think that focusing and working in a series means that you have to really commit to one thing over another thing, but it is a way of really exploring an aspect in great depth and getting better at it and just doing that more quickly. Because you know yourself, you know, if you try to do too many different things, you, you end up sort of like not really progressing on any of them. And if you focus down on one thing at a time, you can develop more quickly in that thing. Anyway, that's the plan. <laughs> okay, so if you can learn anything arty, improve any skill, explore any materials, colours, techniques for like just the next three months, what would it be? What do you want to learn to do this year? Let me know, I'm really curious. I'd love to know, so tell me in the comments and try and make it specific or as specific as you can. So don't just go, I want to learn how to use acrylics. Uh, it's just a wee bit too broad. So try narrowing it down and you know, it could be anything. It could be something like, I would really like to learn you know, three ways to add texture with heavy body acrylics, for example, something like that. Because making it more specific is really going to help you to focus and you know it hopefully won't lead to an overwhelm because you know you'll be able to go right this is what i'm going to focus on for this amount of time i'm going to make a body of work exploring this and then i can move on and do something else and i've got definitely i've got some more of the the work with the doodles that i've been doing there's some very specific things i want to do with them and then these watercolor looks that i love doing as well that you've been seeing so there's definitely going to be some more projects coming out with me using them but hopefully some that are a bit more concentrated and also i mean this flower that i'm drawing today so this is a great example now this flower kind of first appeared as a mixed media project for my process addicts over on patreon and i kind of fell in love with it it was one of those sort of accidental drawings and when i did it and i looked at it i thought well i really love the shape and the form of this this could really work in a lot of different ways so one thing I've been doing now, one of my focuses has been to see how I can use this form in some different types of artwork. So I did a digital piece that was a download for my patrons and then this is the third variation of it where it's this small scale art and it's kind of perfect on a card front isn't it? That's just the sort of, it's just a nice piece of art for a card. And for this I sketched it out first in pencil and you saw I was just using a white pencil and then I painted it with acrylics and added in some line work as well and the line work that I'm doing is with the brush pen marker so one of my brush pens which is another thing I like to focus on is kind of like you know getting better at my line work <laughs> both with brush pens and also with just a brush <laughs> So I kind of wonder where else this flower is going to turn up, so we will keep an eye on that. But yeah, it's a good example of something to focus on. So if you have a piece of work that you really love, some, some small aspect like this, something you've drawn that you really love, or some combination of things that you really love together, then just pick it out and see if you can make a series of different artworks with it and see how you can stretch it and where you can take it. Now I've mounted this mini piece onto a craft card blank and if you want to see how I did that I went into that in more detail in that first video in this series. So check out that link. Back to a pure abstract again with my last in this series for next week. So in the meantime if you're looking for some more mixed media flower inspiration then watch these videos next and I'll see you over there. And thank you for watching this one. Have a really fun arty week.